Kia ora and aroha from New Zealand. Today's video is a part of the April Showers Bring May Flowers video series and it's a blue whale. So we are practically doing watercolors and then doodles on watercolors. This is a picture of the finished product that we'll be doing today. So I hope you enjoy it. I've used this souvenir from the Maldives as an inspiration for my painting today. I'll do my own take on it so you can also do your own take if you want. I did research the blue whale and I'm just going to go to the shape of it um, in a similar way but the pattern and the process of my drawing will be different so I hope you enjoy it. I start with sketching the outline of the whale. Between the family members in our house, we have traveled the entire world and um, we've picked up souvenirs from every part of the world and they're all proudly displayed on my fridge. So I always um, keep looking at them and sometimes I just pick out any and uh, sit and draw it or sketch it. After completing the outline, I now apply water to the paper and after wetting the whole paper outside of the outline of the whale i then go in and put in some blues um, indicating the ocean colors this is a wet on wet techniques wetting the paper and then applying the paints on it you can also do the dry on wet technique is just taking the paints and applying directly on it and then using water to spread the paints. You can use any um, blues or greens that you have just to represent the color of the ocean. I've done this entire video on a time lapse. If you want to see it in the real time process, uh, you can click on the video and then click on the three dots that are on the right hand top of the video. You can then choose the settings according to your preference. So now we've got the ocean more or less covered up and um, wherever there's wet paint, I still go and add in some more colors. And then now I take off the paint in bits with tissue paper wherever it's wet. And it also gives a nice um, mark or texture on the paper when you take it lift it off with the tissue paper now i'm coloring the insides of the whale now a thing to remember is when you're doing the inside coloring you have to dry the bit that's outside you could go in without drying it but uh, try to leave it um, leave a bit of gap between the wet paper and the dry paper I have tried here, but um, most of the times I don't bother. I like my um, colors to mix and just give it a very loose sort of interpretation. So I've, I, I think I apply about three layers over here and then um, leave it to dry a bit. A list of all the supplies that I've used will be mentioned in the description box below the video. So just click on that arrow and you'll find all the details. Now I do a splatter. And not to worry if the splatter goes over the veil because we're going to cover it up with doodles anyway. I just take some gelatos and draw with um, light blue and dark blue so that uh, you get a little bit of depth to the fish in the ocean. Now I take uh, my Faber-Castell pens, microtip fine artist pens and um, start with the lowest that 0.1 mm and I randomly do the shapes on this. So at this point, it is best if you um, 
do your own doodles like try to think of i don't give too much thought whatever i feel like and whatever the shape is i just go according to that so it's a good practice to do that and um, in that way you'll also build up your muscle memory and um, make the marks as intuitive as possible i take the white um, fine liner pen and uh, actually it's a brush pen and i just put the white over the black so i've done the two eyes at the side and um, i've given it like a dimension two dimension three dimension whatever it is but it's got some depth in the ocean so again i take my charcoal pencil and give it some more depth i noticed that the gelatos don't um, blend in very well so this is a mixed media art paper and it's my sketchbook actually but it's more than 165 gsm because usually i do my drawings for this um, april showers bring may flowers video series uh, in one book uh, i have done and that's uh, 165 gsm but this paper is thicker so whatever this paper is is uh, much thicker than 165 gsm but it's still not um, the actual watercolor papers which is 300 gsm it's because when i put in too much water it you would see it from this video itself the paper is crumbling a bit but if you tape it um, all the four sides then you know you won't get that crumbling effect i don't mind it crumbling um, because after this once it's dry i'll close the book anyway and it gets flattened out so it's not an issue at the moment for me the only issue would be is if the water seeps through the paper and um, I wouldn't do any watercolors then on that particular paper. So I'm still going in with pencils and pens now and then to give more texture to the whale. I'll put on some music here for you to just relax and have a meditative time. And if I have anything to say, I'll pitch in. I'd like to pitch in here and say that I'm very thankful to those who have been regularly watching my videos for your likes and comments 
and I hope you're enjoying them. To those who are stopping by for the first time, thank you so much and I hope you're enjoying it too. And um, if you enjoy it, please do subscribe at the end of the video. Hit the notification bell so that you get future notifications of the videos that I put up. To those who have been following my videos now since some time, I hope you do do your art practice daily. I unfortunately haven't been able to keep up to it daily because I've had quite a few deaths of my family members as well as uh, friends and um, those moments I didn't feel like creating anything because I lost a very close family member of mine too. But uh, please keep on continuing and hope you're doing well in at whichever phase of art you are in. Thank you so much for watching this video once again and um, I hope to see you soon.